Greetings, this is Captain Rex, and you're watching Star Wars Nut 77, home of the Star Wars memorabilia reviews. What's up, Star Wars fans? How you doing? Welcome to my Star Wars channel. In this video, I want to talk specifically about figure protectors, more for the Star Wars line of toys. These protectors will also fit other lines like G.I. Joe and some other toy lines. They will not fit He-Man because those are bigger figures. Obviously, they're not three and three quarter inch scale, but I'd say for most three and three quarter inch scale figures or even six inch figure scales, uh, they will, these will work. Uh, but these are specifically designed for the Star Wars line, which is great. And if you're a Star Wars collector like I am and you have figures in your collection, which I'm sure you do, that are worth a lot to you, whether it's sentimental value or monetary value, maybe they're rare or exclusive, it's always a good idea to look into investing into some type of protection for those figures to protect them from getting dusty, smashed, uh, light, you know, in many cases, right? Uh, some light damage. I mean, these are some options and they kind of vary in pricing, right? So in the middle here, I have, this is for three and three quarter inch figures and they really fit most three and three quarter inch figures in the Star Wars line. What's nice about this, you notice the tag here, the hanging tag, so you can display them really easy. These come in, I believe, 25 packs both available through Amazon. And I believe they come out to be a little less than $2.80 each, which isn't too bad for what, what it is. What I like about the way they're displayed, they're designed specifically for Star Wars. Notice the figure doesn't, doesn't move. It stays pretty pretty still, which is nice. So you're not gonna have to worry if you are transporting these, you're not gonna have to worry about them uh, moving around in the case itself. And really easy clamshell, you can just open them up. It's not sealed, it's nothing like that, right? So really a nice option for figures that are, you wanted to help display. And what's also good, obviously it, it stands up really easy, which is good. So that's a really good option. If you're a six inch figure collector like I am as well, this is also, plastic and they fold so they come in flat they come in 10 uh, and I believe the price is about the same about a little over two dollars eighty cents each this is designed for the six inch scale now notice that this figure is a little narrow right and that's because the newer six inch figures are a little bit more narrow they just they change the design of the box but if you have a more square looking box it will fit there are a few figures that it will not fit let me show you an example you have some more deluxe six inch figures this is uh, Boba Fett from uh, the book of Boba Fett. This figure is too wide. It will not fit. You also have this new line, which I love, by the way. I love what Hasbro's doing here. These are like the Power of the Force 2 figures are on a uh, 12 inch or six inch scale rather. Uh, they've done this in the past with like the vintage line as well, which is cool. This is also too wide. It will not fit. Okay, so just FYI there. But for the most part, most six inch figures will fit. And this is another good option for a little less than $3 each, which is great. If you have loose figures, like for example, here's in one, this is like a prototype for Han Solo prototype figure from, I'll show you a closer look, uh, from I believe it was like circa 1997, 98. Uh, it was part of the Power of the Force 2 line. It was a set where he came with a Millennium Falcon uh, cockpit. Anyway, this figure is valuable to me because it is a prototype and prototypes are kind of more rare than typical figures, obviously. This is a nice case. If you have a loose figure, this is a nice option to have. They, go, they sell for a little less than a dollar each. And again, you have a hanging tab, which is good. So if you're a seller and you're looking to sell these, nice way to display it, or you display them in your room, uh, wherever, however the case, this is a great option too. It's a clamshell, opens up very similar to this. Uh, and that's another great option for loose figures. So if you have some vintage figures or loose, this is a good option. Now the higher tier, the last one I'll show you is the acrylic option. Now these go in two packs. They're about $25 a piece. So it's a $50 for a two pack, which is a little more on the pricey side, but Again, if you have figures are worth it to protect, this is a great option for you. This one is, see I have the original C-3PO, this is the 12 back, and this particular figure is valuable, and so I wanna protect it, which is nice. And it's got a nice acrylic case, so it's, it's hard, right? It's not just your soft plastic, it's gonna protect the figure. Uh, just be careful moving it, because I don't wanna do too much, but you can see it's kinda loose in there. Um, you can uh, get it to the case, let me see here. Hold on one second. Yeah, I have it in wrong. I just noticed that. So let me protect it and slide it in there. I just noticed that. So slide it in. And let's see this bottom piece slides in and out. And now the figure isn't going in and out. So this is good for newer figures, of course. Obviously vintage figures, original vintage figures. Uh, and so this is a really nice way to display it and really build very well. And it's, it's heavy. It's got some weight to it. it does not have the hanging thing because it is kind of heavy. That's okay, though. It does stand up very well. This is the best option for more of the unique and rare figures you have. Uh, anyway, 
Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll put a link in the information area on this video. So if you guys are curious to find out more, uh, I will do that. Thank you for subscribing as always. We'll see you guys soon. Take care. And may the force be with you. Take care.